This gate of heaven can't be held. When the huge demon dragon like a planet descended, tens of thousands of rebels from the upper realm pressed the realm, and the only person who could fight in the southern realm was the god king of Xiao Ting. The god king of Xiao Ting, who ranked third in the upper realm, was also at the end of his streak, but at this moment, wearing a damaged armor, he suddenly burst into an unprecedented astonishing momentum, sweeping Liu He and covering the universe. Even if I die today, I will cut off this dragon's head, so that you and other traitors will shudder when they think of today in thousands of years. Stop talking. A white light that engulfed the universe burst out, thousands of thunders burst out, the heaven and the earth shook, and the huge dragon head fell with a bang. The black demonic fog covering the upper realm collapsed like a wind in a cloud. The god king of Xiao Ting, the battle fell. May 22, 2016 Earth A beautiful girl curled up in the corner of the wooden house, her straight legs were half exposed outside her skirt, and her trembling hands covered her chest, but she wanted to hide it, at least the proud peaks of 340 were difficult to completely cover up. Her name is Zhao Yuking, the daughter of the famous Zhao family in Wuyo Land. Originally, Zhao Yuking went to a remote place like Western Siberia to pick up people, but he didn't expect to meet a group of illegal poachers who were poaching and beating rabbits and kidnapped her. At this moment, a furry hand has reached out to Zhao Yuking. Do not come Zhao Yuking screamed in horror. But then, with the sound of thorn, half of her skirt was torn off, her legs were almost completely exposed, and the spring was full of light. How could these five vicious hairs let her go? The Formazi in the back laughed strangely, and murmured a lot of Russian, to the effect of not tossing such a hot girl to death, and staying for a few days. The hairy head nodded. Then start to untie the belt. Zhao Yuking was almost desperate, and his eyes were full of tears. Just at the sound of banging, the wooden house door was smashed to pieces, and the broken door panel smashed on the back of Mazi, who was headed, and he was directly smashed to the ground, and his pants had not had time to take off. At the same time a sharp sawdust pierced directly from the back of the head of the head and came out through the chest. The person who came was an 18 or 19 year old boy with rough skin, but handsome features and terrifyingly cold eyes. He pierced the head of Mazi's chest with a piece of wood like slaughtering a pig and slaughtering a sheep. Then look around at the others, Barakov's subordinates. The four Mazi were stunned for a moment, and screamed as if they had encountered a ghost. Even though they had guns in their hands, they did not dare to have a half-point dispute with the young man. None of you will survive. The young man said coldly. Before he finished speaking, a black mist emerged from his body and turned into a dragon shadow, engulfing the four other famous Mazi. After a while, the black fog disappeared. The four Mazi froze in place, still maintaining the attitude of running away. But soon, their clothes and flesh and blood fell like sand and dust, turning into four bones and then even the bones turned into powder. The boy Fury Yui has no waves. And Zhao Yuking, who was already so frightened, was splattered with blood on his face by the fur who wanted to insult her just now. He was so frightened that he fainted immediately. Killing people, how could she have thought that she would encounter such a thing? When Zhao Yi woke up, the moon was shining. The cabin has been cleared. There was no blood, and no corpses. The boy who just killed five Mazi was squatting next to Zhao Yuking, staring straight at her, his eyes feeling creepy. Although the five Mazi were vicious hooligans, they were still human. The methods this boy showed before were not like human beings, so Zhao Yuking, who had just escaped from danger, was even more frightened at this time. Isn't this guy a ghost? You, what are you going to do? Zhao Yuking's cherry lips trembled. The young man kept silent, took out a piece of barbecue and a bottle of red wine like a conjuration, and handed it to Zhao Yuking. Zhao Yuking still did not dare to move. The boy ignored her, took out another piece of barbecue and devoured it for himself, then leaned against the wall and fell asleep. How to do it? Zhao Yuking was so anxious that two tears flowed, and he didn't know whether the other party was sleeping or not, 
but after thinking about it for a while, he felt that he still had to take advantage of the good opportunity to escape, so he crept up and walked out of the wooden house. Unfortunately, as soon as I got out of the hut, I found that a group of step wolves had surrounded the hut. How could it be so unlucky? Zhao Yuking really felt that all the unfortunate things in his life had happened to him today. First there was the robber, and then there was this young man who murdered without blinking an eye. I don't know if it was a human or a ghost. Then there are a group of grinning wild wolves. How can a delicate daughter-in-law deal with these things? Her tense heartstrings finally reached their limit, and her whole body slumped like a deflated ball. Don't run away. Just die. Seeing the calf-sized head wolf approaching, he had to close his eyes, but after waiting for a century, the head wolf did not come to bite her. When she opened her eyes carefully, she found that the alpha wolf had entered the wooden house and gently licked the boy's thin cheek with his tongue. What's going on here? Zhao Yuking was completely bewildered. Yu Yu reading www.yuyuganshu.com stared at the sleeping boy in awe. There were a million questions in his heart, but one thing was certain, the wolves didn't hurt her 80% of the time because of this boy who looked like a dead man. S. Reason Then she saw an even more incredible scene. The alpha wolf let out a cry of ouch, and the wolves seemed to be ordered to drag a deer that had just died to the side of the boy, apparently offering him food. This. Have you understood human nature? Zhao Yuking covered his mouth in shock. After the boy sent a deer, the wolves hurried to the wasteland and disappeared into the silver moonlight on the wasteland. After about two hours, the boy woke up. During this time, Zhao Yuking didn't dare to run away, and stayed in the corner of the hut honestly. After the teenager woke up, she whispered, You won't be the real version of Tarzan, right? The teenager grinned, got up and squeezed towards Zhao Yuking, his eyes couldn't help but look down. The skirt is torn, and the spring is full. What are you going to do? What? In the past, someone thought that I had soiled her house, damaged her doll or something, and bullied me every now and then, and even rode on me and beat me. The young man said such unreasonable words, but Zhao Yuking was stunned when he heard it. He stared at the young man's face with wide eyes, and after a long while he suddenly exclaimed, you are have you finally recognized it? You are that little dumb. Gee Mew. The mysterious young man named Gee Mew smiled and said, That's right, I'm Gee Mew, that little mute who lived in your Zhao family for two years, didn't expect it to fall into my hands today? Gao, when you rode on me back then, the Feng Shui took turns, and now it's time to change positions. Zhao Yuking shuddered. The Ge Mew in front of him was no longer the little mute he used to be. He was dressed in cunning ways and killed without blinking an eye. Who knew what he said was true or false? What if she really gave her that? She hugged her body and shrank back involuntarily. But Ge Mew didn't make a move. Ge Mew how could it be possible for the god king of Xiaoting, who was in battle, to suppress the existence of the heavens and the world in his previous life to do such a dirty thing? The most important thing is that this scene is too uninteresting. He glanced at Zhao Yuking's chest, took off his coat and let her wrap it, and scolded, These hairy boys are so filthy, if I had known they shouldn't have kept them until now, by the way, you ran to the west. What is the Siberian wasteland doing? It's full of beasts, rascals, and villains. I'm not here to pick you up and return to China. My dad said that I was more sincere when I came in person. Who would have thought that such a thing would happen? Zhao Yuking curled his cherry lips to express his dissatisfaction. It won't come in person. This is a bit of conscience, and is it a human or a ghost? I just saw a black dragon shadow emerging from your body. Zhao Yuking was still haunted by the scene of Ge Mu killing five Mazi, but the latter gave her a blank look and said, It's good that you didn't see this. Then tell me, why don't the wolves attack you, but instead give you food? I'm so curious. But I can tell you this. A few years ago, I rescued a little wolf that was caught by a beast and helped him heal his leg injury. Later, he became the leader of the wolf pack, 
and I am deeply grateful. Every time I go hunting with wolves, I will give me some food, and there is nothing magical about it. Just as he was talking, a humming car sounded outside the wooden house. Jiemu's eyes narrowed, and he looked out the window, and saw that there were several Mazi who dared to drive and there were even heavy machine guns on the roof of the car. These poachers in western Siberia are often retired mercenary gangs. It is not surprising that they have participated in the Middle East War before and have heavy weapons. It is estimated that they are the same group as the previous ones. You stay here and don't move, I'll go out and see. Zhao Yuking said, they have guns. Ji Mu sneered, what is a gun? Then he went out. At the same time, the heavy-duty off-road vehicle also stopped in front of the wooden house. The one who came down first was a burly man with a scarred face like an iron tower and a gun in his hand. Hwaxia woman, how can you be a Hwaxia boy? Boy, how about a beautiful woman? Beautiful women don't know, but the Anaf you mentioned has gone to heaven to see his grandma. What's the meaning? Gemu rubbed the corners of his brows and said, it means I was killed. You. Several Mazi laughed, knowing that Anov was also a powerful mercenary, how could he easily die in the hands of a young man? Scarface spat and said, Can a sick Chinese man like you kill Anov? You can't even kill a woman. Hand over the beautiful woman quickly, or I'll kill you first. Bang 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 a few harsh gunshots. Scarface fired a few shots at Gemu's feet as if he wanted to see how this Chinese-faced boy was scared to pee his pants, but he miscalculated, and Ji Mu stood there and didn't move. What's your background? Scarface was also slightly surprised. There used to be a man named Barakov in this bastard, known as the Wolf King of West Siberia, a surefire sharpshooter. Unfortunately, he has now escaped to South Africa to mine, or he will definitely tell you what I am about. Scarface looked at Gemu contemptuously, Barakov has met the devil, what does this have to do with you? You bastard! Hurry up and hand over the beautiful woman, or I'll blow your dog's head with one punch. Come and try! Gemu rubbed his fingers at the scarred face. Although Scarface was a jerk, he was also a bastard. He immediately threw the gun to his accomplice and threw his fist at Gemu. This person's boxing skills are very good. He is the king of black market boxing. His straight fist has a weight of more than 1,400 jin. He can knock over a sturdy bull with one punch. Broken his skull. Disparity in strength. Several other Mazi hardly looked at it. However, what he didn't want was that Ji Mu, who seemed to be thin and thin, also swung it straight out, and his fist just touched a nove's fist. Bang with a muffled sound, Gemu didn't even sway his footsteps. Scarface's fist was fractured, his entire arm thumped and slammed, his body flew out like a kite with a broken string, and fell heavily on the front face of the off-road vehicle, howling. How could this be? Several Mazi face to face. Zhao Yuking, who was hiding in the wooden house and observed through the cracks in the window, was also really surprised. How could this Gemu be so powerful? It's amazing that I don't want to be a human. Time seems to stand still. Only Gemu muttered nonchalantly, Dare to throw a fist at this deity, you are the first among mortals. After a few seconds, Scarface reacted and roared in pain, Kill him. This Chinese boy is weird, use a gun. Use a gun. The accomplices were all outlaws so naturally they didn't care about the life of a Chinese teenager. One of them immediately pulled out a pistol and shot at Gemu, and there was another dull gunshot. Don't want Zhao Yuking, who was hiding in the wooden house, screamed and covered his eyes, not wanting to see the scene that followed. And Gemu stretched out his hand and wanted to grab it in the void, and then his hand stopped between his eyebrows. How is this possible? Can this Chinese man catch the bullet? Mazi was once again shocked by the situation in front of him, staring at Gemu in astonishment, and then saw him slowly put down the hand that was resting between his eyebrows, and slowly spread it out again. There are no bullets in it. 
to everyone's disappointment, I failed to catch this bullet. Ji Mu joked, then staggered a few steps and fell to the ground. Call several Mazi gasped, how could it be possible? How can people catch a bullet? It's ridiculous, it seems that Ji Mu is just bluffing. Boss, I heard a woman shouting in the wooden house just now. Bachin is the woman Anov said. Mazi communicated with each other in Russian while looking at the wooden house. Go and bring him out. I go. The two Mazi entered the wooden house and dragged Zhao Yuking out, looking at the scarred face with his chin up, she was indeed a beautiful woman. He waved his hand and said, this woman makes me happy first. Hurry up, sister. Ji Mu, who had already been identified as dead, suddenly stood up and patted his forehead. With a clang, the bullet fell from the center of his eyebrows, and the wound on the center of his eyebrows recovered in an instant. I said I couldn't catch the bullet, but that doesn't mean I'm afraid of bullets. You know Barakoff escaped to South Africa because he encountered the devil. Didn't he tell you that the devil, is it me? This scene transcended everyone's perception of the world. Zhao Yuking was pale. Scarface and several other Mazi's faces are ashen. How is that possible? After being shot, the bullet came off the bullet hole automatically, and the wound recovered in an instant? This is not human at all, and in the eyes of Christian Mazi, only the devil can do such a thing. No wonder Barakov, the gangster known as the Wolf King of Siberia, after meeting him, would go to South Africa to dig in a hurry, not even the old lovers in the night show. Scarface was trembling with fright. His calf was trembling, and he barely peed his pants. Ji Mu, as if nothing had happened, helped Zhao Yuking up, looked around at several people and said, You should apologize if you did something wrong, shouldn't you use me to teach you? Everyone kneel down and apologize. Thump. Scarface knelt down first. After all, he could understand Chinese and then he used Russian to make other Mazi kneel down and murmured a bunch of apologies. It's not a pity for you to die, but the girl's family has never seen a scene, and it's not good for me to send you to heaven to meet your grandma in front of her, be funny, and go to South Africa to mine in the future. Received. As he said that, he grabbed a machine gun and twisted it, trying to twist the stainless steel barrel into a piece of scrap iron like a twist and throw it at the feet of Scarface. Scarface's body was shocked, as if that piece of scrap iron had hit his heart, no matter how strong and arrogant they were, no matter how desperate they were, they all became trembling at this time, because G.E. Mu's power had surpassed them. For human cognition. The next day, I took a flight back to Hwaxia and arrived at Lycan in the land of Wu. Zhao Yuking did not take over the Zhao family's business, and only became an associate professor in Lycan University, so he temporarily let Ji Mu settle in Lycan, living in the Xiaowenchen villa on the outskirts of the city. The land of Wuya was rich and prosperous in ancient times, and modern times are no exception. The villa area located in Xiaoyuan Mountain occupies a beautiful mountain, with lingering streams, plum, bamboo, and stone springs. It is an elegant and graceful building in typical Jiangnan style. In short, it is Loki luxury. The flower gallery lawn has more than 400 square meters. It will be night, the moon is like silver frost. Zhao Yuking, who had experienced a nightmare, had lingering fears. After taking a shower, he was about to sleep with his head covered, but tossed and turned and couldn't fall asleep. She was full of questions about Ji Mu. How could a dragon shadow appear on him? Why does he still act as if nothing happened after being shot, and the wound heals in an instant? I vaguely remember that when Ji Mu was a child, he was brought to live in the Zhao family by Master Yan Xianqi, who was kind to the Zhao family. At that time, there was nothing abnormal, even worse than ordinary people. He couldn't speak at the age of four or five. Dumb. I haven't seen each other for more than ten years, so why? Zhao Yuking is not someone who has never met a powerful person. She has a bodyguard who is the king of the North Leg, who is famous in the three eastern provinces, but compared to Ji Mu, she is nothing. 
Master Yan? Could it be? Zhao Yuking suddenly thought of this person. In her impression, Yan Xianqi was kind to the Zhao family, and her father also highly praised it, but she always thought that she was a Jianghe warlock who knew astrology, divination, and feng shui. Could it be that she is really a living fairy? He taught Ji Yimu all the magic tricks. Are there really gods in the world? If there is, then the descendant of this immortal is still a childhood sweetheart with himself. In the future, if he wants something, he will instantly reach the pinnacle of his life? Zhao Yuking speculated endlessly, and his pretty face was full of splendor. After a while, he finally couldn't help but get out of bed with curiosity, pushed the door into Ji Mu's room, and happened to bump into the latter who was changing clothes. Ji Mu frowned. Zhao Yuking was very embarrassed, but his eyes dartingly glanced at Ji Mu, which made him even more embarrassed. Actually didn't see it. I... I just have some questions to ask. Ji Mu replied, I thought you couldn't hold back the girl's heart, and you were going to rush in and push me. Zhao Yuking, who was leaning against the wall outside the door, said brokenly, Bah! I think so beautifully. This girl is known as Wu Yu, a colored armor. The people chasing me are lined up a few streets, and I rarely push you. I want to ask if there are really gods in this world. No, at least not now. Isn't Immortal Master Yan also? Ji Mu was slightly startled and said, Isn't the Immortal Master Yan you met before? Besides, I know what you want to ask, it's nothing more than why I was able to recover after being shot. Zhao Yuking nodded, that's right. Although there are no gods in the world now, there are many people who ask about the immortals. The seven Taituo cave heavens and thirty-six blessed places mentioned in ancient China do not exist. In the land of Wu, there are many cultivators who even there is a huge cultivating sect, Huan Chen sect. Ji Mu paused, giving Zhao Yuking enough time to digest the information. Immediately he said, however, Cultivators are self-proclaimed, and most of them won't show their magic skills in front of ordinary people, and Immortal Master Yan and I are one of the cultivators. They are not afraid of bullets and are not very powerful magic techniques. The realm is high and deep, and you can see the words in ancient books such as moving mountains and reclaiming the sea, calling for wind and rain, etc., which can be done. Zhao Yuking's worldview has been subverted again. Who would have thought that there is a mythical world of Taoism outside of modern technology? Moving mountains and reclaiming seas, calling for wind and rain. She murmured dumbly, as if imagining those incredible magical powers. Suddenly excited again, then can you predict the future? For example, predict the winning numbers of the next lottery. Is the dignified Zhao family's daughter still rare in five million? It's really strange. Can you? It's not that we can't predict the future, it's just that there are too many variables, and things like lottery tickets are determined by a few accurate numbers. It's too labor intensive to deduce, and the gains outweigh the losses. You think that in ancient times, national teachers were deduced by the number of luck in the country, certainly not will use the method of deduction for little things. Zhao Yuking nodded his head, and said, It makes sense to say that. Then do you breathe fire? The is the dinosaur of the movie. Will you send out the golden light Buddha wheel? Won't. Will you be beheaded? Won't. Are you going to change seven Taituo? The girl was really curious, and Ji Mu got a little impatient when she asked, and snorted angrily, seven Taituo changes won't work, but in Zheng Jing's research room, seven Taituo postures are not worth talking about underscore next. If Miss Zhao is interested, you might as well try it out, and I will teach Miss Zhao to take advantage of the excitement and return by supporting the wall. Zhao Yuking said with a pale face, Go away, you stinky hooligan, I'm ignoring you. Anyway, there will be time to question Ji Mu carefully in the future, but not in a hurry, Zhao Yuking pouted and slipped back to the upstairs room. The word big chest and brainless does not apply to Zhao Yuking. This girl is not a monochromatic armor Wu Yu, 
she has a hot body and a surprisingly high IQ. She obtained a double master's degree at the age of 20, and she is an associate professor at Lycan University. The next day she went to the university to give lectures as usual. However, I felt a little sorry that I had just brought GEMU back to the side, and before going out, I gave GEMU some money and said, Today, go shopping in the city by yourself. My dad originally said that he was going to come over and wash the dust for you. But there is a delay, and I will definitely come over in two days. GEMU weighed the money and said, Are you planning to support me? Fuck off Zhao Yuking shoved GEMU, a dog can't spit out ivory. I don't want the money anymore, I'll take a look at the university with you. What are you doing at school? Of course, to see if there are any girls who are suitable to be a stove? The cultivators are yellow and green, lonely and empty, and they also need to be adjusted. GEMU folded his arms and smiled, and the corners of his mouth raised a bit of playfulness. Zhao Yuking could see that GEMU's words were joking, and he didn't care. The two drove to Lycan University. Zhao Yuking, who was familiar with the course, didn't need to make any preparations, so he went straight to the public classroom to give lectures, and GEMU followed him to the back row of the classroom for the two monetary and finance classes. It can be seen that Zhao Yuking is very popular, and it can be said that it is boring attracting many students from other departments to come and listen to the class. Certainly, listening to the class is false, but wanting to flirt with this beautiful teacher is true. GEMU also looked at Zhao Yuking on the stage with interest. He was slender and full, with blue silk like a pavement, his beautiful face was almost flawless, and the proud curve under the blue skirt made people imagine. Unexpected. The little girl who rode on her and beat her back then was so outstanding. GEMU couldn't help but smile. His eyes gradually became fascinated, and he remembered the origin of the Zhao family in this world, and all this originated from the Yan Xianxi in Zhao Yuking's mouth. Speaking of this immortal master Yan, his name is Yan Shixiao, and he is also a person from the upper realm. Before GEMU became the god king of Xiao Ting, he had been in the Thunder Department of the Upper Realm. At that time, Master Yan was still his subordinate, but this person was free and easy, straightforward and informal, and GEMU was also called a brother. After the rebellion in the Upper Realm, Master Yan, who was still in the Lei Department, broke out of the 18th floor siege and defended the Tianmen together with GEMU. But his strength is limited. GEMU first fell, and he was reincarnated on Earth seventy years earlier. Then, with a faint breath, he found GEMU, who was a human being. A brother, two generations follow each other. You can learn the temperament of immortal Master Yan. During the two years I lived in the Zhao family, I went there because Xianxi Yan had friendship with Zhao Tuo, the father of Zhao Yuking, and Xianxi Yan, who was also a living person, was a bit old-fashioned in this life, so he said to GEMU at that time, the Zhao family this little girl is a beautiful embryo, she will be a stunner when she grows up, brother, you are about the same age, so you might as well live in the house. Really he underscore mother's dirty. GEMU was originally a god, and he was born in the mortal world. He couldn't speak when he was four or five years old, and he couldn't scold him at that time. At this time, he could not help but blurt out. It's a pity that immortal Master Yan couldn't hear it. He is free and straightforward by nature, but he is also easy to offend people. In this life, he has formed a relationship with a sect in the world of cultivating the earth. He was besieged by seven elders and was seriously injured. He died the year before. A large part of the reason why GEMU came back was also for this reason. Mr. Zhao, I love you. Halfway through the class, some student let out a loud snort, making Zhao Yuking blushed and embarrassed on the stage. Ji Mudding looked over and saw that he was a tall, pimple-faced guy. With his sleeves rolled up, he could vaguely see a lifelike dragon tattoo on his bulging muscles. He looked like an outstanding scumbag. Who is this person? Ji Mu whispered to the next table. He, Liang Sheng 
has several large hardware and steel stores in his family. It is said that he has assets of half a billion yuan. Because his family has money, he used knives and buckets when he was in high school. Friendship The girl at the next table saw that Ji Mu was quite good and explained in great detail. Ji Mu smiled and thanked him. And after Liang Shang shouted, not only did he not restrain himself, but he squeezed forward with a smile on his face and said, Mr. Zhao, would you like to have a meal with your face at noon? I have already made an appointment with you for a good opportunity. Zhao Yuking said angrily, go out. Then I'll be waiting for you outside. Roll. Tisk tisk, the beautiful teacher's temper is really hot, but I like it. Liang Sheng laughed and walked out. When he reached the door, he turned his head and glanced at the proud curve on Zhao Yuking's chest, his eyes were extremely cloudy. Two classes will end soon. Zhao Yuking went back with the textbook in his arms, and Liang Sheng followed behind him as expected, and made a fictitious grab at Zhao Yuking's buttocks from a distance, laughing lewdly. What the are you doing? Zhao Yuking turned around. It's nothing. I just want to invite Mr. Zhao to have a meal and talk about life by the way. Liang Sheng shoved the classmate who had just walked to the side and scolded him. Word. Clearly used to being domineering in school. Zhao Yuking glared at him and said, You'd better not go too far, or you won't be able to bear the consequences. Yo, how come the approachable teacher Zhao is still acting like a eldest miss, what consequences I can't bear? You say Zhang Yin, others are afraid of him, but I'm not afraid of him, some kind of call him to come over and fight me, come on stage fight to recruit relatives. Naturally, what Zhao Yuking said was not Zhang Yin, but Ji Mu who came over from behind. This guy who kills without blinking. Liang Sheng also noticed Zhao Yuking's gaze, and looked in the direction she was looking, just in time to see Ji Mu, who was thin and smiling. Who is this turtle? The soil it wears looks like it came out of a ravine. You'd better not mess with him. Not to mention it's okay, when he said that Liang Sheng was even more motivated, he smiled contemptuously, what kind of thing is this country bumpkin, do you still want to compete with me for teacher Zhao? It's really a toad who wants to eat swan meat. Stop for me. Ji Mu smiled and stopped. How? What's your relationship with teacher Zhao? It's a childhood sweetheart. Liang Sheng looked at Ji Mu up and down, squeezed his triangular eyes and said, Childhood sweetheart. You are worthy of being so weak. Zhao Yuking was worried that Liang Sheng had angered Ji Mu, so he pulled up Ji Mu and was ready to leave, but Liang Sheng stubbornly raised his foot and stumbled at Ji Mu, trying to smash Ji Mu into the mud. Ji Mu deftly avoided and said, Don't you just want to invite Zhao Yuking to dinner? It's trivial, you treat me to a meal first, and I'll let her go with you. Ji Mu, what did you say? Zhao Yuking had no interest in eating with this scoundrel, he was disgusted, and he couldn't understand what medicine Ji Mu's gourd was selling. But she knew very well that Gu Jing had killed Tenmazi without a wave, and whoever invited him would definitely be in trouble. Liang Sheng, who doesn't know the depth, is really going to invite Ji Mu to dinner. Leaving Zhao Yuking behind, he put his arms around Ji Mu's shoulders and went to the school's parking lot. He got into a pretty good car, and turned his head to say, I'm treating you to dinner, can you really help me meet Mr. Zhao? Ji Mu nodded with a smile. Don't lie to me, or I will break your dog's leg. Liang Sheng threatened and drove away from Lycan University, and this kind of self-confessed social person was very polite in everything he did, and he called a few social gangsters on the road, which seemed to deter Ji Mu. Arrived at the hotel. Several gangsters have already asked for a box, and several of them are dressed in the kind of tattoos, shirtless, and are breathing clouds in the box. Liang Xiao, have a new little brother. The gangsters looked at Ji Mu with cigarettes in their mouths. What the would I accept this little brother? He is teacher Zhao's friend, the teacher with a big chest and a thin waist. He said that he could help me make an appointment with teacher Zhao. 
What is the surname GE stunned? Order your own food. Look at you stupid underscore forcing dot. The corners of GE Mew's mouth moved slightly, but he still had a smile on his face. From that menu, he ordered a barbecue and three rice. Liang Sheng didn't pay much attention to him, and lit a cigarette and talked nonsense with a few thugs. This kind of gangster sitting on a block with a bragging style is nowhere near as high as talking about how awesome people they know, and where they have had bad fights before. Listen to Mazi tell the story of the Middle East War. After listening for a few words, the dishes were already served, and Ji Mu ate by himself. Bang! Liang Sheng kicked Ji Mu's stool and said with a beer, Boy, if you can do this, Brother Sheng will let you hang out with Brother Sheng in the future. Can you cover me? It's like playing. Brother Sheng stabbed people when he was in high school, and there is no one who doesn't know his brother Sheng who is on the road in Lycan. Ji Mu said, it's illegal to stab someone. Brother Sheng also had connections on Baideo, and it was settled after giving some money. What is this? At that time, the classmate that Brother Sheng had worked on became pregnant, so it was settled by giving some money. Liang Sheng said boldly. Seeing his great achievements, his pimple-filled face smiled wickedly. Oh, what a scumbag! Ji Muxin said something and continued to eat. It didn't take long for the roast meat and three servings of rice to be eaten cleanly. At this time, he put down the tableware and wiped his mouth with satisfaction. Then he said with a smile, Thank you for your hospitality, and suddenly flipped the dining table. There was a loud bang. Beer, hot pot, and plates flew up, splashing Liang Sheng and several gangsters with juice. Before Liang Sheng could react, Ji Mu had grabbed his hair and slammed his head against the wall, kowtowing to the point of bleeding. You're crazy. The gangsters roared at the change in Ji Mu's intrusion, and they picked up beer bottles one after another. Liang Sheng scolded angrily, the surname is Ji. So you're pretending to be a pig to eat a tiger, you're really kind, but you dare to touch me? I'll ask you to kneel down and beg me later, brother. The guy messed with him, broke his arm and leg, it's mine. Playing as a pig and eating a tiger? It doesn't exist. I just came back to China and didn't have money to eat. I happened to come across a scum like you and have a meal. What Ji Mu said was the truth. He also has some foreign currency, but he hasn't had time to exchange it, and he really has no money to eat. In addition, the king in the previous life was not very disdainful of crushing ants, but wouldn't it be a pleasant thing to teach this kind of scum? Game room. But this remark undoubtedly made Liang Sheng even more angry. It turned out that Ji Mu didn't take him seriously at all. Fool. You dare to play with me. Liang Sheng roared furiously, struggling desperately at the same time, but found that Ji Mu's hand on his shoulder was like a cold iron pincer, which made him unable to break free. What's wrong with you, scumbag? Look for death, kill him for me. Ji Mu glanced at a few gangsters who copied beer bottles by hand, and one with a butterfly knife, you can eat and drink with this dude, are you really ready to die? Damn! Let go of young Master Liang first. We drank blood wine. Fuck him. Not to mention, the gangsters were a bit stinky, exclaiming their righteousness and shouting, and they all rushed up to Ji Mu in turn. But the results can be imagined, several people were bounced off the wall without even wiping Ji Mu's body, or their arms were broken, or their internal organs were severely hit and the corners of their mouths bleed, and they instantly turned into a pool of wailing. Of mud. Have you stabbed someone? Getting people pregnant, right? Isn't it harassing the teacher? Every time Ji Mu asked a question, he slapped Liang Sheng in the face, causing blood to flow from the corner of his mouth, and he spat out two of his teeth. It was only then that Liang Sheng realized that he had kicked the iron plate this time, but his heart was not dead. He endured the pain and shouted, My boss's brother Chen and Hai. We are not done with today's affairs. What kind of stuff is Brother Chen and Hai? The boss of loyal and trustworthy security, the underground king of Lycan. 
it's still my cousin. So. No wonder Liang Sheng dared to be so arrogant in front of Zhao Yuking. You must know that the Zhao family is also a well-known family in Wu, and ordinary rogues still have no courage to provoke Zhao Yuking. However, the underworld forces roaming in the grey area are still insignificant ants to Ji Mu. They can be wiped out with a flick of a finger. He slapped Liang Sheng again and said, Underground King, right. You wait. Still so arrogant. Yu Yu reading www.yuyuganshu.com with a clear sound, Ji Mu directly broke Liang Sheng's shoulder blade. The latter, who was in pain, finally realized that Ji Mu was also a ruthless person, and his attitude softened a lot. He still had a smile on his face and said, Do you still think you're pretty cool? Liang Sheng said with a face, I don't dare. I thought you were courageous and hard-hearted, how could you be so cowardly when you broke your bones? Brother, brother, take it easy, take it easy, it's me who refuses to admit that Taishan offended you, you don't remember the villain's deeds, let me go, and I promise that I will never pester Mr. Zhao in the future. That's the character of a scum like you. You are arrogant, domineering and self-righteous. Even if I let you go, it is estimated that the dog will not be able to change it in the future. It's better to kill it now, so as not to bully others. Slaughtered? Liang Sheng was shocked. He thought that no matter how powerful Ji Mu was, this matter was only the scope of gang fights, but he didn't expect the latter to have murderous intentions. He said, aren't you kidding me? Do you think I dare not kill you? Ji Mu's eyes suddenly turned cold. Just one look. It made Liang Sheng feel as if he had fallen into the ice cave, all the hair on his body was bundled up, and the cold sweat soaked his back in an instant. From Ji Mu's gaze, he could see the horror like a blood pool hell. The answer is self-evident, Ji Mu absolutely dared to kill him. He hurriedly begged for mercy, Brother, I was wrong, I was wrong, don't kill me, I will do whatever you want me to do. I will stay for two days in your little life. As for whether I can live it depends on your performance. That day, Ji Mu returned to Xiaowenchen Villa very late. As soon as he entered the door, Zhao Yuking couldn't wait to ask, Why did you come back so late, what did you do to Liang Sheng? It's nothing, I just had a meal together, chatted happily and forgot the time. In addition, I exchanged several thousand yuan in foreign currency with him. That is it. Zhao Yuking stared at Ji Mu, and Jian Shui's eyes were full of disbelief. She couldn't believe that Ji Mu, who had killed ten vicious and wicked men without frowning, was so good at talking, but he couldn't find the slightest flaw in his smiling face, so she had to give up after a while. He added, but no matter what, I won't eat with someone like Liang Sheng. Ji Mu said half truthfully. I guess he won't make such a request in the future. I persuaded him hard during the meal, and he even listened to it. Real? Early the next day, a big news from Lycan was pushed on the mobile phone, Shui Had Ice Hong, the boss of Zongzin Security, committed suicide by jumping off the building at 2143 last night. According to preliminary investigations, he was severely frightened before his death. The specific reason is still under investigation. This Shui Hat Hong is Liang Sheng's cousin, an out and out old bastard. He was also a street gangster. He likes to fight bravely, and is good at drilling camps. In the early years, he made a name for himself on Lycan Road, gathering nearly a hundred outlaws, lending usury, selling drugs, extorting money, and forcing good people into prostitutes. Waiting for almost all evils, he was called the underground king of Lycan Nanhai brother by the people on the road. Later, the state was very strict with the investigation of the underworld and evil forces, and he became a loyal and trustworthy security boss. No one would have thought that such a person would commit suicide by jumping off a building, but for most people, the death of such a person is naturally a great joy, and God finally opened his eyes. In the morning, Zhao Yuking also read the news. But for her, this kind of thing is too far away, that is, just take a look, 
and then pack up and prepare to go to the school to attend the meeting in the department. Drive to Lycan University. There was a man standing in the parking space, an old man with plasterboard on his shoulders and swollen cheeks, almost unrecognizable. Touch porcelain? Zhao Yuking was stunned. Pressing the window, he said, please give way, I want to stop. Teacher Zhao, please forgive me. The man with the plasterboard plopped down on his knees in front of Zhao Yuking's car, and when he heard his voice, Zhao Yuking remembered that it was the rogue Liang Sheng who was obsessed with her. What the is this? Zhao Yuking was puzzled. This Liang Sheng is related to the evil forces in Lycan. Not only is he domineering in the school, but he is also invincible outside. How could he kneel in her parking space early in the morning to apologize? Wouldn't it be another way to entangle myself? What are you doing? I, Liang Sheng, are a bastard. I'm not as good as a pig and a dog. I'm a scumbag. Please forgive me, Mr. Zhao. I swear in the name of my ancestors' 18th generation that I will never harass Mr. Zhao again in the future. Liang Sheng's voice was crying. At the same time, many students who were going to class also came to watch when they passed by. What happened? How did the school overlord Liang Sheng, who has never taken others seriously, become such a bear? He actually knelt down in front of a large audience, and he didn't even want his face, it was incredible. Liang Sheng, who was kneeling on the ground, naturally felt extremely humiliated. Yu Qi saw the fiery eyes of his classmates, and he really wished he couldn't open the cracks and get in. Once upon a time, others were afraid of him, but now he has become the object of ridicule. His swollen face turned red again. But without Zhao Yuking's forgiveness, he didn't have the courage to stand up. Compared with face, life is obviously more precious. Others may not know, but he, Liang Sheng, is very aware of how much information was contained in the news that morning. That is, yesterday's dinner, Ji Mu said before leaving, you scum has suffered a loss this time, and you must want to take revenge. You want to find that brother Chen and Hai to come over to support you, but what? He doesn't do that. Ability. You'll see him on the news tomorrow. Liang Sheng didn't think so at first, but he didn't expect to see his cousin Shui Hai's Hong in the news as Ji Mu said. Also, dead. Even if you move your toes, you can think that this matter has something to do with Ji Mu. Real cruel. It's not about fighting bravely in the street and splashing blood shamelessly. Instead, speak your mind. Therefore, Liang Sheng did not doubt that Ji Mu really dared to kill him. He had to know that his cousin Shui Hai Hong had more than 100 brothers under his command. How could Sheng not be afraid? Looking back on Ji Mu's seemingly harmless smile, he felt a chill down his spine. So Ji Mu didn't need to say anything. He also understood what to do, so he endured the pain and waited in Zhao Yuking's parking space early in the morning to pray for forgiveness. Hey, this person also has today. Whoever made him bully people normally will be punished now. I don't know who to blame. The onlookers were whispering, and Yu Yu reading www.yuyuganshu.com also felt very happy. Zhao Yuking also probably figured out the reason. It must have been Ji Mu who taught Liang Sheng a lesson, and he was so embarrassed to kneel and apologize. This guy. Although Zhao Yuking was harassed by Liang Sheng several times, making it almost impossible to step down, the girl's family was soft-hearted after all, and the resentment in her heart was relieved a lot when she saw Liang Sheng's miserable appearance, and said softly, Get up. Bar. I can't get up without Mr. Zhao's forgiveness. Uh. Zhao Yuking did not frown. In the end, what method did Ji Mu use to scare Liang Sheng into this look? Okay, okay, I forgive you, can you get up? Liang Sheng breathed a sigh of relief as if he had been granted amnesty, stood up on his knees, and then said nonchalantly, Mr. Zhao, I have something else to ask you, I hope you can say something nice and ask Mr. Ji Yi to let me go. I promise that I will never appear in Lycan University in the future. Ji Mu, 
what the did he do? He just said yesterday that he was eating with you. You were injured by him. Liang Shang hurriedly shook his head, no, no, it's just that Mr. Ge said that we just had a meal together. The injury on my body was that I went out without my eyes and hit the car. It has nothing to do with Mr. Ge at all. This scoundrel disciple was already fearful to the bottom of his bones, and he became submissive and trembling, completely different from yesterday. But this look is exactly the same as the people he has bullied before. Heaven is good for reincarnation, who will heaven forgive? Not yet. Zhao Yuking guessed that he couldn't ask anything out of his mouth. Anyway, the trouble around him was finally solved, and he didn't pursue it much. He only said, you go to recuperate, and you should be more restrained in the future. Ji Mu lay on the rattan chair under the flower porch, closed his eyes and rested, gradually, a black mist emerged from his body and condensed into a dragon shadow, covered with black scales, with a terrifying aura. This dragon it is the eternal demon dragon who perished with him in the previous life. It has a great origin. It was originally a holy dragon born in the universe of stars, the ancestor of all dragons. Coincidentally, after being cut off by Ge Mu's dragon head, the dragon soul merged into Ge Mu's divine soul and was reincarnated on earth together. The cultivator is in the primordial spirit magic. The dragon is in the body. Therefore, Ge Mu, who has merged with the dragon soul, has a higher starting point in this life than in his previous life, and he can practice physical methods. In the earth where spiritual energy is barren, his cultivation realm is only the ninth level of Qi practice, but because of the blessing of this dragon soul, his physical strength is comparable to that of the Jindan period, and it is also because of this reason. An ordinary Qi practice nine layers can't resist bullets. At this time, this dragon soul is breathing out the breath of heaven and earth, and the black scales move slightly. You must know that this dragon soul is the dragon soul of ancestral dragon. It can absorb any dragon energy between heaven and earth. The mountain range to the south along Xiao Yuan Mountain is exactly a dragon vein. In ancient times, it was this dragon vein that the Southern Song Dynasty could rely on to be content with Wu. When this ancestral dragon remnant soul echoes with the dragon veins on the ground, it absorbs the dragon energy, and the obtained power gradually condenses into a gentle white light. This ray of light shrouded Ge Mu's body, infiltrated the flesh and blood and spread to the bone marrow meridians, strengthening his physique as always, and red thunder arcs burst out between the curled fingers. Dragon, get angry and whip judding. The power of thunder is the innate supernatural power of the dragon, and it was displayed on Ge Mu at this time, but the power of this ancestral dragon's remnant soul is still extremely weak, and the power of thunder that can be stimulated is not so overwhelming. Being human, Ji Mu needs to start all over again, and the same goes for the ancestral dragon that he merged with. Upper Realm Ji Mu suddenly opened his eyes, and there was an extremely shining splendor in his deep eyes. It was noon when Zhao Yuking came back. After solving Liang Sheng's trouble, she was grateful to Ji Mu, walked over with a smile, and said, You are really good at taking care of Liang Sheng's annoying guy. There is a beautiful person, Xiang Yu and Yuking. Zhao Yuking was born with a touch of natural reminder on his body, as light as an orchid and refreshing. Ji Mu smelled the fragrance on her body, opened his eyes lazily, and then closed them again, not talking about Liang Sheng, just teasing, whatever you eat to grow up, the buttons are opened. Zhao Yuking was slightly stunned. Immediately, her eyes slanted downward and her pretty face immediately turned red with embarrassment. Sure enough, it's too big. It should have been opened when she got out of the car. She hurriedly buttoned her small shirt, stunned and embarrassed. I wanted to thank you for driving away Liang Shang for me, so I'll take your attitude, no thanks. Ji Mu smiled lightly, occasionally stepping on an annoying ant, I didn't expect you to thank you, but there is one thing I'm quite curious about. Yu Was Hong and Zhao's family said that they should have nearly 10 billion assets, so you can be safe and secure. How good is the rich second generation, 
why are you punished for eating chalk dust? I like the profession of a teacher. Oh yes, remember when you were a kid you liked to scribble on the blackboard. Was saying, Zhao Yuking's cell phone rang. The caller was called Zhang Yin. Many people in Lycan University pursued Zhao Yuking. Among them, Liang Sheng and Zhang Yin were the most famous. However, unlike Liang Sheng, Zhang Yin's family background is much more prominent. The family business Heidong Group is well known in Wu. In terms of wealth, it is not the richest man in Wu, and it is no problem to squeeze into the top ten. Zhang Yin himself has a good family education and looks quite good. For being handsome, he is also a school-level figure in Lycan University. In addition, the Zhao family has a lot of business dealings with the Heidong group, so they got to know Zhao Yuking very early. In Zhao Yuking's heart, Zhang Yun is not bad. And Zhang Yun is also a third-year student of Lycan University, and he is also the president of the school's photography. A few days ago, he went to the ancient town of Huizhu to collect wind. As soon as he came back, he called Zhao Yuking first saying that he had found a good-looking ancient ink stone in Huizhu. It was given to Zhao Yuking's father. Zhao Yuking's father, Zhao Tuo, was very fond of calligraphy. After briefly talking on the phone, Zhang Yun actually said that he was already on the Huancheng Road and would soon arrive at the Xiao Yuan Mountain Villa. The business is quite busy. Ji Mu got up and stretched, squinting at Zhao Yuking who had hung up the phone. The corner of his mouth was a smile that was not a smile. A friend. Oh. I won't tell you first, I'll go back to the house to take a shower. By the way, I bought you a pair of toiletries. Mu waved his hand and said, No need, I'll just use yours. No, how can you use mine? Zhao Yuking is a little bit clean and doesn't like others to use his own things, let alone toiletries. Who would have thought that Ji Mu thoughtlessly said I've already used it, which made Zhao Daimei quite resentful, gave Ji Mu a savage look, and turned her head into the villa. Abnormal. Not much time after Kung Fu. Yu Yu reading www.yuyuganshu.com A Maybok drove into Zhao Yuking's villa. The young man who got out of the car looked like a young man in his early twenties with delicate features, fair skin, and low-key social clothes. It was Zhang Yin. After he got out of the car, he saw Ji Mu and was stunned for a moment. This is Zhao Yuking's villa. But Zhao Yuking is quite reserved, even if Zhang Yin has never been to her villa, why is there a man now? Also looks like a carefree male host. Therefore, he was hostile to Ji Mu in the first place. He walked up to him and said, Hello, may I ask who are you from Yuking? Ji Mu raised his eyes, how about you? Zhang Yin, Yuking's friend. Then I, my name is Ji Mu, I can barely be Zhao Yuking's childhood sweetheart. Childhood sweetheart? The hostility in Zhang Yin's heart couldn't help but become stronger, and he continued, then what does Mr. Ji do? Unemployed. Fortunately, the relationship with the Zhao family is good. It just so happens that Zhao Yuking is not good looking, so now the main thing is to follow her to cheat money and sex, so as to barely maintain a living. Holy shit! Who are these people, who can say such shameless words? Zhang Yian's impression of Ji Mu fell to the bottom in an instant. This person is simply a scoundrel. What does Yuking take? But this also made him feel a lot more at ease. After all, based on his understanding of Zhao Yuking, Zhao Yuking would never have anything to do with such a person. He snorted disdainfully and said, Mr. Ji used to eat and drink because of old friendships, and to put it bluntly, it was for money. If that's the case, I can give you a sum of money now and ask you to leave here. Zhang Yian said a few words like sending a beggar intending to drive Ji Mu away. For him, the things that can be solved with money are best straightforward. Ji Mu's face was cunning and said, Sao Nian, looking at this outfit, he looks like a local tyrant, but the money you can give me is definitely limited, and it is definitely not as much as what I got by cheating Zhao Yuking into my hands, 
so I don't want your money. Why is this man so shameless? An angry look appeared on Zhang Yian's face, if it wasn't for his good tutoring, he would have punched Ji Mu in the face long ago. Humph, how could Yu Qing know someone like you? That's her blessing. Pooh. Blast. Bad luck is almost there. Zhang Yun didn't want to entangle with Ji Mu anymore, and turned around to prepare the villa to find Zhao Yuking, but Ji Mu got up to stop him, and said sternly, Listen to my advice, stay away from Zhao Yuking. How old are you? Why? What are you talking about? Zhao Yuking came out of the villa and changed into a light-colored thin skirt, which became more and more beautiful. She originally wanted to introduce Ji Mu and Zhang Yin to each other, but she didn't expect the two to chat first, but it seemed that the atmosphere was not very harmonious, and she couldn't help feeling strange. What's wrong? Zhang Yin said indignantly, Yuking, how do you know such a scoundrel, do you know what he said just now? Oh this guy can also make small reports, and a sneer appeared on the corner of Ji Mu's mouth. Zhao Yuking said, what did you say? He said he was your childhood sweetheart, and to approach you was to cheat money and sex. What? Zhao Yuking glanced back at Ji Mu, but didn't take it seriously. She knew very well that it would not be difficult to ask for money through Ji Mu's means, as for cheating. She said, we are indeed childhood sweethearts. His words were just joking. Such an understated answer made Zhang Yian even more uncomfortable. He always felt that Zhao Yuking was partial to Ji Mu. Not only was his heart sour, he had to know that Zhao Yuking never protected him like this. Zhang Yin condensed for a moment, then snorted coldly from his nose, I think it looks real. Don't talk, don't talk, since you're here, come and sit first. And many more. Ji Mu interrupted Zhao Yuking domineeringly and said, What are you sitting on? Didn't he come to disturb our two-person world? What two worlds? Who do you think Yuking is? Zhao Yuking and Zhang Yian spoke at the same time. Ji Mu said, Fiancé. Zhao Yuking said angrily, Ji Mu, what you said is a bit too much. Do you still want to repay your debt? Back then, when Xian Shi Yan took me to live with me in your house, he set up a baby kiss with your father, and signed a marriage contract with two people's handprints on it. As he said that, Ji Mu took out a crumpled piece of paper from his pocket, which had turned yellow, obviously it was old. While handing it to Zhao Yuking, he continued, It's okay if you want to default, but your father's handprint is on it, so you have to go back and tell him no. Took the yellowed paper, looking at it, Zhao Yuking's green fingers trembled slightly. It is indeed a marriage contract. There are not only the handprints and signatures of her father Zhao Tuo and Xian Shi Yan, but also the signatures of her deceased mother. She has read the handwriting very well and cannot be faked. She vaguely remembered that there was a marriage contract when she was a child, but she didn't think it was true. Why? How could her parents arrange such a marriage contract for her privately? What she hates most is being arranged by others. Parents know that. For Zhao Yuking, this incident was like a bolt from the blue. Standing there, not moving for a long time. Zhang Yun also squinted at the yellowed marriage contract, and his heart became more and more sour, but seeing Zhao Yuking's face was different, he seemed dissatisfied, and comforted, Yuking. Don't be scared by this broken paper, it's all right. Zhao Yuking shook his head slightly and said, Yun, please go back first. You. I want to be quiet. Although Zhang Yun was reluctant to leave, he had no reason to stay any longer. He glared at Ji Mu coldly, as if to say that you dare to touch Zhao Yuking and try, and then he said goodbye and left. Is this still interesting? Ji Mu grinned sitting back in the flower porch and closing his eyes. Wait until there are only two left. After returning to his senses, Zhao Yuking said, even if this marriage contract was made by my parents, I would not agree to be with you. Oh? It's because of Zhang Yin, this kid does look like a rich master, 
with oily head and powdery face, fine skin, and tender meat, which is in line with modern aesthetics that are almost like a motherfucker. It's really a facetophus world. No, I just don't like being arranged. Gee Mew closed his eyes and sneered, if you don't look down on me, just say it clearly, don't look for these vulgar reasons, I'm very strong in my heart, and I can bear anything. It's not because of him. Hey, anyway, if you want to cancel such a marriage, tell your parents. You. Zhao Yuking left angrily. Only then did Ji Mu open his eyes again, he forgot a glance at her graceful back, and whispered to himself, it is indeed a rare stunner, but the deity's previous life practiced 36,000. The national beauty and the fragrance that I have seen in the spring and autumn period are like the Crucian carp crossing the river, when do you care about me, if it wasn't for the immortal master Yan who never wanted to ask me, would I agree to this marriage? Zion Shi Yan, you old guy will die if you die, and you have given me such a trouble, so that I seem to be forced to be a prostitute now, my mother will pay you the debt quietly. He murmured a few words and continued to close his eyes. There was still the natural fragrance of Zhao Yuking in the air. By the afternoon, Ji Mu went upstairs and knocked on Zhao Yuking's door. It took a long time to knock on the door. Zhao Dakianjin was still sulking and looked puffed up. Ji Mu didn't give a good face when he came in. Hey, I said, anyway, I rescued her when I was in the West Siberian wasteland, so you should take the initiative to show your gratitude to this point. Now that I have taken out my marriage contract, you still slap me in the face. How can you treat your fiancé? Of. Who is your fiancé? I never promised you. Zhao Yuking's face was cold. Ji Mu said with a playful smile, it will be a matter of time whether you agree or not, whether there is such a fact will be another matter later. And as your fiancé, I don't want you to have too much contact with other men, Otherwise I know a just kill one, you should know very well that I can do this kind of thing. You know one likes a green light on their skull, doesn't it? Zhao Yuking was so angry that his chest heaved and the waves were spectacular, he got up and shoved Ji Mu, biting and saying, domineering, shameless. I just found out. Even if there is this paper marriage contract, even if my father does not agree to break off the marriage, I will never be with someone like you, and I don't even want to say a word to you again. Ji Mu smiled indifferently and turned to leave. Zhao Yuking did what he said and said not to talk to Ji Mu. In the next few days, when he saw Ji Mu, he really did not say a word with a straight face. Although she was grateful to Ji Mu for saving her and sending Liang Sheng off, she always felt that she could not be confused with thanks and agreed to this absurd engagement in a confused way. Sadly, when she and her father Zhao Tuo talked about this on the phone, Zhao Tuo, who had always spoiled her, didn't even agree with her breaking the marriage, and asked her to listen to Ji Mu's words as much as possible. It is incomprehensible. Zhao Dakianjin was so angry that she didn't call her father again for two or three days, and felt ten thousand aggrieved in her heart. But she didn't want to talk to Ji Mu, and Ji Mu didn't take the initiative to take him anymore. Even every day after she returned to the Xiao Yuan Mountain Villa, she would go for a walk in the bamboo forest outside by herself, and she would come back very late. This evening, Zhao Yuking is playing with roses called Four Sided Mirrors in the flower gallery. She likes this rose very much, but somehow it is summer and the branches and leaves of the four-sided mirror actually wither. Are you fertilizing too much? I used a small shovel to open up the roots of the rose, but I didn't see any rot. This is not the problem, Zhao Yuking shook his head and buried the roots. At this moment, he suddenly saw the leaves of the whole rose turn yellow rapidly at a speed visible to the naked eye, and the buds that had just nodded also withered in an instant. What's the situation? Like magic. Zhao Yuking's face was stunned, thinking that this might not be the ghost of Ji Mu. Meow suddenly a cat meows. It was extremely dreary and strange, and Zhao Yuking was so frightened that he was covered in cold sweat. Turning around, he saw a black night cat standing behind, 
his eyes were actually red, it seemed to have an unusual ghostly magic power, Zhao Yuking just glanced at it and felt that he couldn't move his eyes. Meow, the black cat barked again, and the sound was very long. And when the cat meow sounded, it was like hypnosis, which made Zhao Yuking dizzy, and his eyelids became heavier and heavier. 7.30 the next morning. Zhao Yuking was woken up by the alarm on his mobile phone. When he turned over, he found that he was lying in his bedroom wearing only pajamas. What the was going on? She clearly remembered seeing the four-sided mirror withering at a speed visible to the naked eye last night, and then she encountered a strange black cat who was hypnotized by the meowing of the black cat. How could she lie in her bedroom? It should be Ji Mu who brought him back. Definitely is. Full of doubts, Zhao Yuking put on his clothes and went downstairs quickly. Ji Mu was eating in the restaurant, and when he saw her going downstairs, he raised his eyes indifferently, and continued to bury his head in the breakfast. I. It's not like you didn't talk to me. When such a strange thing happened, Zhao Yuking couldn't care about it anymore, and said, Last night, when I was in the flower gallery, I saw the rose withered instantly, and then I met a black cat with red eyes. Ji Mu grinned, what about sleepwalking? You went back to sleep in the house yesterday, where are you playing with roses? I'm telling the truth. Nonsense, where is there a cat with red eyes? Zhao Yuking resolutely said, I don't believe it, let's go to the flower gallery now, the four-sided mirror has definitely withered. I'm eating. Let's go and see me. Zhao Yuking dragged Ji Mu to the flower gallery. But the four-sided mirror showed no signs of withering, but the branches and leaves were slightly withered, and the situation was similar to yesterday. How could this be? Zhao Yuking froze in place, she saw that the four-sided mirror was completely withered last night. It must be your fault. Ji Mu said with a face full of injustice, when did you see me playing with flowers and plants? I'm not interested in this stuff at all, and it's not so boring. Then how? Say you're sleepwalking. Really sleepwalking? Zhao Yuking didn't believe it, because what happened last night felt very real, but the situation in front of him couldn't be explained. She froze for a while and said, Have I encountered a ghost? Ji Mu laughed uncontrollably, Miss Zhao, thanks to your higher education, you also believe in ghosts? As a cultivator, I can tell you for sure that there are no ghosts in the world, and I think 80% of the time it is you who are pregnant. Age and trance. You are pregnant. I'm telling you something serious. Am I not serious? Ji Mu spread his hands, and then comforted Zhao Yuking with a smile, I guess you were kidnapped by Mazi when you were in western Siberia, which was frightening. After all. You have never encountered such a thing before, just take a good rest for a few days. It can only be explained that way. Zhao Yuking pursed his lips and thought for a moment, then turned back to the villa. But after she left, Ji Mu carefully moved his feet away, stepping on a small shovel under his feet. Apparently what happened last night was true after Zhao Yuking had eaten and drove to Lycan University, Ji Mu came to the flower gallery again picked up a yellow rose leaf and observed it carefully, then brought it back to the room, took a glass of water, and put the yellow leaf into it. Leaning less, you can see the leaves soaked in water with black wisps. Yin Chi? It's actually visible to the naked eye. It seems that the reedy black cat I killed last night was indeed a yin pet. Ji Mu whispered in a low voice. The so-called Yin Pet is a monster cultivated by the seven evil ghost gates of the evil Xiu sect in the southern border. It uses carrion as a matter and a tomb as its residence. After training, it can deceive people and even have a certain attack power. Yan Xianxi traveled around China in the past, and knew about the major cultivating sects and aristocratic families in China. He also told Ji Mu in detail. Therefore, Ji Mu also knew about the seven evil ghost gates, and thought about it carefully in his heart. Yin pets are very unpopular among evil cultivators. Most evil cultivators with a little bit of ability disdain to cultivate this stuff, and at that time, 
the one who knew how to cultivate yin pets and whose realm was not too high should be Kisha Ghost Sect. The shadows are shattered. Ji Mu probably deduced who the owner of Yin Chang was. But my heart is also more and more puzzled. The people who came to Kisha Ghost Gate were all active in the southern border areas of China, and rarely set foot in the mainland of China. How could they suddenly appear? Second, Zhao Yuking is just an ordinary person. Although he is beautiful and attractive and has a strong family background, he will not let the people of Kisha Ghost Sect travel all the way to Wu Yuela to attack her. Incredible. Ji Mu couldn't figure out why, but he knew that Zhao Yuking was in danger now, and Yingxia would definitely attack her again. Yingxia? Known as the Thousand-Faced Fox, I didn't expect it to happen to me so quickly. This is a very interesting matter. I guess this will solve the two things you asked for at one time, Mr. Yan is not serious. Ji Mu splashed the water in the cup, pinched the dead leaf and moved it with his fingertips, with an unfathomable smile on his face. Afterwards, he also left Xiao Wenchen Villa, stopped a taxi on Huan Cheng Road, and took a taxi to Lycan University. The Zhangjia Heidong group's power is not that big. In just a few days, Zhang Yian investigated the details of Ji Mu based on his family relationship. Ji Mu, male. Born September 20, 1997. Abandoned by his father because he was born deaf and dumb, he was adopted by an orphanage, and later adopted by an old man surnamed Yan who wandered around the world. The information is not detailed, but from this information Zhang Yian can also see how thin Ji Mu's family is it's even worse than a dick. I thought that Ji Mu's back must be impressive to be able to sign a marriage contract with a wealthy family like the Zhao family, but I didn't expect it to be so unbearable. This can't help but make Zhang Yian regain his confidence. What does Ji Mu compare to him? In terms of looks, he is only good but not bad, his family background, taste and connections are even more high, and his sense of superiority is overwhelming. If Zhao Yuking has to choose between the two, it must be him. At least he thought so. So that day, I drove to the Xiao Wenchen villa with the thought of heroes to save the beauty. It was noon. Zhao Yuking was reading a book in the flower gallery early, and in the faint green sunlight exposed between the flowers and vines, he outlined a beautiful profile, with a curled figure, and a waterfall of blue silk seemed to be full of thick ink, with a variety of styles. Zhang Yin, who had just got off the bus, was a little stunned, and only regained his senses when Zhao Yuking called him. I couldn't help but wonder where is this kind of goddess worthy of a rogue like Ji Mu? He was none other than Zhang Yin, who secretly clenched his fists and vowed that no matter what the cost, he would let Ji Mu turn off the engagement. Is something wrong? Zhao Yuking smiled, with charming dimples floating on his cheeks. I. I'm looking for Ji Mu. Don't provoke him, he's a man who hates to provoke him. Zhao Yuking originally had good intentions, but it aroused Zhang Yian's rebellious psychology and sneered and crooked his mouth. What's wrong? It's not just a rogue who loves bullshit. Zhang Dashao of Heidong Group squeezed this rogue to death. He sneered, Yuking, don't worry, I will help you solve the marriage contract. Don't worry about this. Why are you here again? At this time, Ji Mu came out of the villa, and gave Zhang Yin a lukewarm glance. Today's Ji Mu seems to be a little different from usual. Usually, he has a smile on his face, but today his expression is very cold. Zhang Yin was also for Tat, staring at Ji Mu and said, I'll find you today when I come. You too. Yuking, don't worry about it. I will tell Ji Mu about this matter, Ji Mu, if you are a man, let's talk about it alone and settle the marriage contract. Zhang Yian stood in front of Zhao Yuking, a pair of the heroic attitude of saving beauty. Ji Mu said expressionlessly, fuck off. You dare to scold me. What are you doing? I. You must know that although Zhang Yin has a good family education, he is also the eldest son of the Heidong group. The underworld and white people on the ground of the city will give some face. 
he has hardly received such insults and contempt, so there is a cloud over his face immediately. A rogue underscore si who has no background dares to talk to himself like this, it is enough of a fool. He leaned a few steps towards G. E. Mu, and whispered in his ear, To be honest, I want to kill you in a hundred ways, and I'm willing to talk to you peacefully because of Yu King's face. Snapped a loud slap hit Zhang Yian's face. G. E. Mu Muhan said coldly, Don't you understand that I told you to get out of the way? You're too hungry, you can't go to prostitution if you have money at home, you have to interfere in other people's marriage contracts. You dare to touch me what's the matter with you, how much money do you think you're an onion? Zhang Yian has also practiced Taekwondo for several years. Of course, he refused to accept being slapped in the face. He raised his leg and was ready to fight back. Unfortunately, Ji Mu pressed his head to the ground before he raised his leg, and not a mouthful of dirt in his mouth. Ji Mu pressed his face into the soil with a domineering and undeniable attitude. Zhao Yuking had already guessed this unpleasant result, but he didn't expect Ji Mu to be so domineering and unreasonable, and he couldn't help but lose two points in his favor. She said, Yin is just here to talk to you, and it's nothing to do with it. Are you treating him like this? Let him go. Ji Mu glanced at Zhao Yuking. Very cold eyes. This is also the first time he showed anger towards Zhao Yuking. In the previous life, the god king of Xiao Ting, the sky and the earth changed color and corpses were buried in millions. Even if he was reincarnated and before Xinwei disobeyed, the coldness in his eyes was not something that an ordinary girl could bear. Zhao Yuking was at that time. He was so frightened that his face was pale, his hands and feet were cold, but he couldn't say a word with his mouth open. Zhang Yin, who was pressed to the ground, felt humiliated and struggled desperately, but after a while, he felt that Ji Mu's hand on his head gradually loosened. The surname is Ji, let's go head to head. However, Ji Mu ignored Zhang Yin, who was about to go mad, and just said to Zhao Yuking in an indifferent voice, Green tea underscore woman, you have to pay the price for your stupid kindness. After all, turn around and leave. The words green tea underscore woman's watch couldn't help making Zhao Yuking feel extremely insulting, and also made Zhang Yian feel that he was blaspheming the goddess in his heart, full of anger, he got up and threw a punch at Ji Mu. Roll Ji Mu growled. Before the punch fell on him, Zhang Yian felt a powerful force swept over, like Zhang Yang's frenzy, and instantly threw him seven or eight meters away. Zhang Yian fell to the ground, bleeding from the corners of his mouth. Fortunately, the lawn under the flower gallery was soft, otherwise he would be crippled if he didn't die. Ji Mu left the Xiao Yuan mountain villa and did not know where to go. Zhang Yian, who was seriously injured, could not leave for the time being. In addition, in the afternoon, the heavy clouds suddenly rose and the rain poured. It was not safe to drive, so he stayed. Of course he also wanted to stay. This may be a rare opportunity to be alone with the goddess in your heart. Immediately, he felt that he had earned this insult from Ji Mu, and he made a lot of money. He endured the pain to comfort Zhao Yuking and said, Don't take it to your heart, Ji Mu is just a scoundrel. When you fart. Zhao Yuking who was washing his face in the bathroom, had red eyes. Green tea underscore female watch with a kind-hearted nature, she never thought that someone would use such vicious words to scold her, and she was still her childhood sweetheart, so she naturally felt ten thousand grievances. I washed my face and got ready to go out. Suddenly I heard a strange noise in the toilet, and when I looked over, I saw a colorful snake coming in from the water outlet, and she escaped with a scream. What do you think, Zhang Yian outside was also scared to death. It turned out that not only the toilet flush, but also the living room were afraid of the colorful snakes coming in. There were hundreds of them, and they had been surrounded by a small corner for two days. How could this be? There are few snakes near Xiao Yuan Mountain. The two wealthy second generation generations were completely frightened by the situation in front of them not to mention trying to protect themselves, 
and they seemed to not even be able to speak. 